Welcome to the Battles We All Face podcast with your host, John Morris. It's time to survive and thrive in 2022, and this is what this show does. The only show that provides hope in times of uncertainty, providing real help to real people. Now let's get to work. Welcome to our series on Survive and Thrive in 2022. In this episode, we are going to go deep within as I present to you a 20 minute meditation designed to raise your mental health and level of awareness. Where we're going to be providing real everyday help for the real everyday person. For many people looking to survive and thrive in 2022, they want to begin with their finance, when in reality where they should begin is deep inside themselves. Why, when a person is looking to acquire great levels of finance and riches and wealth, should we begin looking deep within ourselves? Simple. Because everything begins with us. Everything comes from a single thought. There is nothing that has been said, seen, heard, spoken, created, built, and conceptualized that did not start from a thought. If you have ideas and aspirations of great wealth, but do not believe that they can be so, and do not believe that they can come into your reality, then the chances of them manifesting into your reality are very slim indeed. We will explore wealth, we will explore finance in this series, but for now, we begin by getting to work with you. Change your thoughts and you can literally change your life. In 2022, more people than ever before are facing greater levels of unemployment, of stress, of worry, of financial deprivation, a fear of oppression, fear of losing, fear of going under, fear of losing their family. Where does all this fear come from? It has been conditioned and it comes from within inside us. Nothing I repeat, nothing can cause us to be afraid except what we choose to allow into our own lives. The practice of inner engineering and self-mastery is so vitally important. that is beginning to change our world. We live in a world where many live with an unruly mind, paralyzed and terrified by fear of what could be coming next. Failing to take control of themselves and actually put their mind to work. Your mind is the greatest asset that you have For out of it, industry was born, legacies were fulfilled, empires and enterprises rose from the ground up, all from a single thought. And you too have that same power within you. I want you to sit where you are right now and close your eyes. And I want you to think 
about what it is that you would like to do, what you would like to see, what you would like to accomplish in your own life. Many people who say that they want to receive large sums of money, acquire great wealth, living a big house, actually mean that they want financial security and their place in life. Later in this series, we will explore finances, investments, opportunities, and asset building. But for now, we are working on your mind. We are developing your mind. This is the best gift that you can give yourself in your day-to-day -day life. It's 20 minutes of reflection. 20 minutes of focus, 20 minutes of silence, 20 minutes of observation, 20 minutes of peace. When you set your mind to work, incredible things can happen. So we return once more to the question I asked. What is it that you desire to see in your life? Is it just large sums of money? Is it prosperity for you and your entire family? Is it better health? Is it an improved job situation? Is it starting your own business, learning assets, how to build them, how to craft them, how to create them, how to develop them and see them grow? What is it you truly desire? Is it for better relationships? Be specific. and write it down. When we write something down, we are putting it out into the universal mind, the divine spirit. And we are letting God know, this is what we truly desire. This is what we want to have come into our lives. Someone created the idea of lack and everybody else tuned in. In a world that was made perfect, pure, wonderful and holy. Why do so many people suffer so? It's because of how we've been conditioned. From the dawn of time, we were led to believe that there wasn't enough to go around. Even though this world can feed itself at least three times over. What people need is not more money, is not more finance. What people need is to know who they really are. To understand who they really are. To become aware that they are a divine spirit having a temporary human experience. You are here for a reason and a purpose. And along the way, you've simply forgotten what that reason and purpose is. So how do we find our purpose? The answer is simple. We find our purpose by looking within and finding that thing that we can do naturally and it gives us the greatest sense of fulfillment. For some, it may be singing. For others, it may be building. For some, it may be painting. 
or writing or speaking. For others it may be being a mother, a father, a husband or wife. Go deep within now and ask yourself the question, <laughs> what is it that comes naturally to me that I do better than anything else in my life? Answer that and you will probably answer your very reason for being here. Keep focused. You are a divine spirit having a temporary human experience. So now that you know what you seek in life, and now you are developing a knowledge of your purpose. What I want you to do now is to think about what the end looks like, not the end of life, but rather what it will look like when you achieve your desired goal or purpose. If you're an aspiring author, what will it look like when you see the book in printed form? when you listen to the audiobook recording. If you're a filmmaker, what will it look like when the film is produced up on the big screen? Hordes of people around en masse sitting watching, seeing your creation come to life. If you're an artist, what will it look like when your paintings hang in the most beautiful of museums around the world? If you're a speaker, what will it look like when you complete your speech and masses of people are applauding you, celebrating you, because you have fixed a problem that they struggled with? What will it look like? See it clearly now. What will it look like to hold your child in your arms, to buy your first home, to kiss the person that you fall so deeply in love with? What will it look like? Once you know and can see the end goal coming to life. All you need do then is to figure out the steps you need to take in order to get there. If it is to build a relationship with someone, then begin thinking of ways to cultivate time together. If it is to meet somebody, ask yourself where is the most logically aspiring place that I am going to meet this person I desire to attract into my life? What qualities do they have that you desire? If it is to build your finances, ask yourself now, how can I be of service to somebody else? If it is to have a family, start cultivating that romantic alone time. Enjoy it. If it is to be an author, <laughs> what skills do you need to bring your magnificence onto the pages? What time do you need to set up side every single week to make it happen. Who could publish your books? When you get clear, it is powerful. 
As we draw closer to the end of this meditation, I want to leave you with one final golden nugget of wisdom. Whatever you do in life, make sure it is task oriented. Two people desire to run a business, both equally as intelligent as the other, both with the same opportunities and privileges as the other. One runs their life very task oriented. They set out a schedule for the day, blocking out periods of time for work, for rest, for play. At the end of the day, they retire to bed, feeling accomplished, successful, excited for the next day, looking at all the things that they have accomplished within that day, and they drift off to sleep peacefully. The other person, equally as successful, equally as intelligent, runs their business erratically. They try to do all tasks at once, resulting in nothing more than headaches, frustration and lack of accomplishment. They work much longer hours, their heart rate beats at a more frantic speed. They become angered and aggressive over their lack of accomplishments. They retire to bed, still trying to get work done, still trying to do everything all at once. The habits that we build today will indicate our successes for the morrow. Build your habits well, my friend. You have taken the first step to thriving in 2022. Namaste, my friend. God bless.